Nintendo Wii, a product for its time that has just been seen of not being aged well. But today, on this very Friday, we are going to explore the Nintendo Wii and truly see its greatness. As you can see, there is a menu of Sonic 4 Episode 1 and Earthworm Jim on the Sega Genesis. Don't ask why these two games are here. This is not really used well. We have the Wii message board. This is where you would message people back then or look on your calendar and also write notes and memos, I guess. And also, any game you play will be recorded on this. You have two Wii options. You got the settings mode, which honestly gives you a lot of settings, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Then you got the data management with the channels. I, I, I don't know. What, I don't know. I have no idea what this is. And then you got the save data full of the Wii games and the GameCube games. And you have a large amount of space that you could put. You could also drag stuff as well. And I don't remember how to drag stuff, but when you go to the disc menu, there is a Wii disc and there's a Nintendo GameCube disc. So that's pretty cool. And you could drag stuff, but I don't know how to do that. It's not working. So the Wii menu is truly incredible. There is supposed to be a me and everything, but... Um, yeah, it's just not here. But the Nintendo Wii was something that no other console was. And it was revolutionary for a, an important reason, and the aesthetic will still always hold up. Again, don't look at these games. I This is an old, this is an old Wii that I had, and these games are just from the shop. Also, yeah, the, sh the Wii shop was also a really cool thing that still isn't here. And yeah, thank you for watching my in incredible video about the greatness of the Nintendo Wii and its revolutionary stuff. I will be seeing you on my very other review that I will be posting tomorrow. See ya.